Healthy thinking is also about managing your attitudes. In this clip, you'll learn about how to understand your attitude and change it if you want to. You'll learn about your default settings and how to become a different type of thinker. The main idea is that we all have a choice in how we see the world. Who we choose to be changes how we talk to ourselves and how we deal with others. Well, managing your attitude is about recognising patterns of thinking. So an attitude is a pattern of thinking, and we've noticed there's healthy ones and unhealthy ones. So if you can learn how to manage them, you're kind of managing that top paddock between your ears, and you can't manage the weather, so you can only manage your attitude towards it. For every unhealthy attitude profile, there is a healthy alternative that is going to make us more productive and happier. And people often say, well, change your attitude. How do you do it? So we've studied about 10,000 people and noticed the patterns in the way they think, and we've given them names that people can relate to. So there's the demander and the judge, there's the fortune teller. So for every unhealthy attitude, you can recognize it, diagnose it, and then treat it with an antidote, like a healthy attitude. Here are some of the unhealthy profiles. The judge, the fortune teller, the doom merchant, the demander, the generaliser, and the denialist. Their healthy alternatives are the advocate, the explorer, the spin doctor, the trader, the statistician, and the acceptor. Here is how it works. What the generaliser does is uses one or two examples to create a rule for everything else. So you can diagnose a generaliser when they'll say something like, oh, the media is always beating up on farmers. So when you hear that, it just makes it a big problem. So the antidote for that is what we call the statistician. So you actually look at the facts. And if, if you went and did a Google search of all the media articles on farming, you might find actually 80% of them are positive or you know, healthy about farming. And look at country calendar and, you know, you look at that and you go, well actually 80% of the time the media articles show farming in a positive light. But if you go around saying the media are always running farmers down, then that's not true and that just creates a whole unhealthy attitude in, in the rural community. Demand is uh, an unhealthy profile, it's the most common profile and it's the most stressful, we've matched it with stress levels. So they use words like you know, the sh you should have left the you know, gate closed and the cow shouldn't have got out there and you should do this and you should do that. So if you just change your language, one word, it's like, well I'd prefer it if my worker had shut the gate but maybe had a reason for letting the cows into that paddock. Or I'd prefer it if this had happened but maybe I could understand why this has happened rather than demanding people should do this, whether it's your kids or something, you know, you should tidy your room. It's like, well, I'd prefer it if you did this and here's the consequences afterwards. So just a simple changing of language can change your attitude and change the situation. Adopting a healthy attitude profile at work will help you eliminate unnecessary worry and stress from your life. You'll end up happier and healthier. And that's what Farmstrong's all about. Yeah, it's just giving you tools to manage your own stuff so it's not always raining between your ears. It's pretty much uh, mostly sunny.